regarding the issue of mental health, the mental illness. What does Quran say about the mental illness? Is there any solution in the Quran how we deal with mental health or mental illness? Mental illness is like physical illness. You get a virus, you get microbes, you get bacteria, infection. This is happening to your body. Also, mental illness, you have a lot of depression, you have sadness. Nowadays, they have more and more bipolar, uh, borderline uh, illness, etc. <clears throat> and all of these may not be mentioned in the Quran. In the Quran, it's in, in, in the Sharia, it says either you're sane or insane. There's nothing in between. So you cannot come and say, oh, Sheikh, I have rage issues. So I may hit or kill someone. But alhamdulillah, I am mentally unstable, so I can run away with it. No, you can't. Are you sane? I said, yes. But I have rage issues. I have mental illnesses. I take Prozac. I have depression. You're sane. Chop his head off. If you're insane, yes, you're unaccountable. This is why the Prophet said, والسلام, the pen of accountability is uplifted from three. <coughs> An insane person until he regains his sanity. So mental, health, uh, uh, mental illness is there. But I always suggest to Muslims not to go to psychologists or psychiatrists that are not Muslims. It's very bad. They will immediately put you on medication, opioid, and things that would make you addictive. It would make you high, which is, yani, but it is very bad on the long term. Most of these people, and 80% of the counseling sessions I have is for OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. They have problems with shirk thoughts. Sheikh, I say shahada 50 times a day. Every time I say something, I smiled. Did I commit kufr? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I go and take shower. Uh, I, someone said something, I don't know, maybe it's kufr. I say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. People get wiswas in answering the call of nature. Splashes, wudu. Some people come, wallahi, they spent half an hour making wudu. Half an hour. Even if you're in a river, the river is going to run out of water. What is this? And I say to them, this is, I have to go to a psychiatrist and they have, no, 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 no need. Your treatment is in five minutes. How much water did the Prophet use, alayhi salatu wasalam? 0.7 liter for wudu. Yani, maybe one or one and a half of this bottle for wudu. How much water do you use? Oh, 10 gallons. <laughs> <clears throat> you know more than the Prophet ﷺ? He said, no. Khalas. This is not Islam you're practicing. They never think like this because shaitan comes and blocks their intellect. They cannot think. My job is to open your eyes only. So mental illness is there. But go to a Muslim therapist, psychiatrist, who will never give you medication unless you 100% need it. And he will not say to you, oh, Freud said this, and Duck Time said that, and the, you know, the Kafir psychologist or socialist people said this and that. No, he would only use with you what is Islamically accepted. Thank you.